I see a friendly face from the past, and though they make a nice song, amongst the mist they are gone. My name is Dick Craval. I'm from Tesco's. I'd like to talk to you about selling Tesco shares. Tesco shares? Are you trying to convince me to buy Tesco shares? Let me just tell you something, all right? You guys, you come into this, our little cities and swallow, swallow up all the independent shops, um, reduce up their prices, and then just turn them into generic pieces of garbage that I see everywhere. Look, I'm not being funny, all right, but in 2005, there was about five Tesco Expresses. We, what, six years later now, we've still got about 13, and they still keep coming. And I'm not talking even about the distribution centre as well, uh, down the road. You know, what is it with you guys? You always try, you know, you always more, isn't it? When is it enough? We're well, quite hard-nosed, I'll give you that, so do you want to come on in? You go to uh, Tesco's Expresses, and they have King Edwards, and next week they don't. And if they do, they've got bloody blight all over them. You know, what's the problem? I am not here to sell shares. I am Satan and I'm here to bring an inferno to your home and devour your soul. All right. Are you British gas? Aha! Brilliant. Excellent. I tell you what, the last few weeks, our gas flume on our boiler hasn't been working whatsoever. It's completely gone. And I tell you, me and my flatmates have been living like the proverbial Eskimo. It's been absolutely f uh, freezing. So if you want to uh, <laughs> turn this place into Inferno, go for it, Mr. Tesco. Don't care, whatever you are, please, I'll show you where the gas flume is. Shut up, you shall kneel before me! Oh, I get where you're coming from. Now, this is a word associated with Nice one. I'm good at this. Uh, kneel before me. Terence Stamp, Superman 2, 1978. Am I right? No, it is not. I will feast on your flesh and eat your entrails. All right. Oh, um, is it um, Hannibal Lecter or Patrick Bateman? Uh, more like Hannibal Lecter. How come? I have a high regard for psychologists, and uh, Patrick Bateman is uh, more of a part-timer. Really? Well, I disagree, because um, I think Patrick Bateman is not just a part-timer. I agree that he is a part-time cannibal, and this is obviously brought about by his sexual deviancy that he has while he prowls around at night trying to find himself. Oh, Satan, let's lay it on the line, shall we? Um, I. Uh, all I want from life now is wisdom and happiness. Can you make me um, a prize-winning novelist? Pinch my nipples, please, Alastair. They squeeze blood. Do they? Oh, I'm not sure. I really am not. Oh. Satan, um, let's be honest. I want to have creativity. I want to have wisdom. I want you to bring me to have be enlightened. I just feel that my life at the moment is just destitute. And my, the way I'm living is but a joke. It's just a joke. a huge burden for you not having any talent. Pinch my nipples please, Alistair, they squeeze blood. You're living in a film where fear is the director and tragedy and sorrow are your co-actors. I'm gonna go for a slash. Oh, please, Satan. Please help me. Please. Please. Show me some divine wisdom. 
Don't worry, Alistair. Daddy Satan will take care of you. You're my favourite, Alistair. I've been watching you for a while. In the shower, in the living room, in front of the TV, in the bedroom with your wife. Oh, Alistair, the things you get up to. Alistair, we're five storeys up. How the bloody hell have you got footage of, uh, of me and my wife in the shower? Have you got one of those drone things at all? One of those controllable drone things? Oh. Jesus Christ. What are you, some sort of online pervert or something? I am the lord of perverts. People think I am the burden of sin, but I give meaning and purpose to life. Tests, quarrels, conflicts, enough drama to make a teenage girl wet. Who's that, Satan? It's a uh, Fallout boy. All right. They're my friends. I keep the picture in my panties, that's what makes them famous. Now, Alistair, it's time for me to take your soul. God a narcissist? Yes, Alistair, God is a naughty, perverted narcissist. I have your soul now, Alistair. Goodbye. And don't forget, add me to your friend list on Facebook.